Welcome to my channel. On today's video, we are going to be creating a soup. So here, I am going to start off by chopping up the vegetables. Here I have carrots, a few different uh, peppers. I have an orange pepper and a yellow pepper, as well as an onion. So what you're gonna do is just chop them up um, or slice them up how you want them in your soup. And then we'll move on to the next step. I do want to point out that all of these vegetables are optional um, but if you want to add a celery or add in some different vegetables some ginger you know any of those kind of things that you want to add feel free to do so Okay, so next what we're gonna do is add some coconut oil to um, the bottom of the pan that you're going to saute your vegetables in. Um, and you're gonna saute all of these vegetables all at the same time. Okay, so here you're gonna add the peppers and the onions because they're a softer vegetable um, and they will turn to mush if you put them in at the very beginning. So sorry, I lied. Um, okay, so then we're gonna add all of our seasonings. I'm gonna do a nutritional yeast, some Italian herb, some spicy cayenne pepper, some curry powder, garlic salt, and then at the very end, uh, the minced garlic. So I'll add all of that into the vegetables and let them saute. If you know me, you know I do not do measurements. I think I'll say this in every video that I put together. Um, but I kind of just eyeball it. I don't like spicy stuff, but my fiance does. So I put a tinch, a little small tiny tinch of cayenne pepper. So everything else is just going to be eyeballed at this point. Okay, so before you start to make the broth for the soup, um, I usually put a little bit of chicken broth or vegetable broth at the bottom just to kind of help the vegetables simmer a bit. So here we're going to start with making the base. Um, so you're going to heat up the pan or the pot that you're using and put butter at the bottom. Um, I have the red curry paste that I'm gonna kind of eyeball as well. Um, and then I'm gonna add coconut cream. Um, I guess this kind of depends on how much you're making. I only used one can. So put the entire can of the coconut cream or you can use coconut milk. Um, they're kind of the same. Um, I'm not vegan. So people who are vegans tend to use the coconut cream. I believe more so than the coconut milk. All right, so with the base, um, what I usually do is kind of re-season the base with everything that I season the vegetables with. Um, so you'll see me put garlic in there. You'll see me put um, more of the Italian herb, the nutritional yeast, all of the different seasonings, just not so much salt. So um, just re-season the base as well. Thank you. 
Okay, so I'm gonna add more chicken broth or vegetable broth if you don't do the chicken broth. Um, and then I'm gonna add some heavy whipping cream. Also, another side note, I'm gonna say it again, you have to eyeball it just to make sure it's starting to thicken up and that it has the consistency that you want for your soup or chowder. All right, now let's combine all of the vegetables that you've just sauteed and add them to the base and let that simmer. Okay, so here you're gonna wanna turn down your temperature on the pot um, and just let that simmer and let all of the seasonings and the flavors kind of mesh together. And this is kind of what it should look like right now. All right, so I usually add kale to almost any random soups that I make, except for like chicken noodle soup. So I rinsed off some kale, chopped it up, and added it to the pot. Okay, so by now your soup should be almost done. And I skipped some steps, but it's very, very, very simple. Um, I had some raw shrimp that I unthawed as well as some egg noodles and you just kind of add those to the pot let the shrimp cook for like five minutes and then let the noodles kind of soak up those juices and boom you have a soup and you're done voila thank you for tuning in to this recipe today like subscribe and comment below and let me know how you enjoyed it